Hi, this is Aaron with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're in Saratoga Springs, and we're going to be eating at the Turf Club, which is an equestrian-inspired restaurant. This is right there at the golf course, so when you finish your round of golf, it's also a great option for you if you want to grab some food afterwards. We're going to tell you everything you need to know about this restaurant, I'm going to tell you what type of food you can get, what our experience was, and whether it's something that you should pick on your next trip to Disney. All of that coming right up. As Aaron said, the Turf Club is located in Sarasota Springs Resort and Spa, and it is in the main building. You have to go through reception and through the quick service all the way at the back, and that's also where you will find the golf club main area as well. And the Saratoga Springs Resort is across from Disney Springs, so that's sort of the area you're in. We really enjoyed our stay here. It's got that New York equestrian kind of theme going on. And if you're interested to, to see our room tour, you know, make sure you check that out as well as we give a good overview of what the remodeled rooms look like. So on to atmosphere and theming. This is inspired by Saratoga Springs in New York. So it's got a very racetrack feel to it. There's vintage equestrian memorabilia, photos, sort of jockey uniforms and outfits. They've got a bunch of horse type decor, riding gear, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They do give it a very upscale and sophisticated feel. Specifically, as you go into this area where the Turf Club is, they've got a lounge facility. So they've got some pool tables. They've got a TV with some nice views of Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. And the little lounge area here also serves as overflow for artist palette. So if you did order some food from the quick service dining area, you can go ahead and bring it into the lounge area and eat there as well while maybe your kids play pool. Now, once you enter into the restaurant, it's got a bit of a different feel. The restaurant itself uh, feels it's got a bunch of wood paneling. It's quite dark. It feels like an old, you know, place that you're going to get prime rib, which is what they serve here. Uh, they've got good views outside, though. They got a very big deck outside. Again, this is connected to Lake Buena Vista Golf Course, so it's a great place for you to, you know, play 18 holes and then come up here, have dinner or have lunch and have some drinks and sort of unwind. And it does have that country club feel to it. So you kind of do feel like you're in an extension of the golf course. And I would say that's probably uh, the interesting part about this restaurant is the equestrian horse sort of theme of the, of the uh, resort doesn't really translate over into the turf club it is more even based on name kind of about you know the the sports that you play there about the golf and so forth and it does feel a bit more like a golf course restaurant than it does part of saratoga springs at least in our opinion really quickly if you are enjoying this review of turf club please go ahead and press that like button if you've seen a few of our videos and you like what we're doing please do subscribe to get notified when new videos come out so on to the food. In terms of the menu, it is an American style dine or dinner you're gonna be having, so steak, seafood. It is only open for dinner. A few of the apps they've got, a French onion soup for $9, jumbo lump crab cakes for $13. In terms of the entrees, you're going to be looking at grilled New York strip steak for $36. They have whole roasted sustainable fish for $25 and pan seared airline chicken for $25. So a good variety there. In terms of dessert, I wish we had room. Why do I do this? They have vanilla creme brulee for $8. That's actually one of Aaron's favorites. I can't believe we didn't get it. And classic lemon meringue pie for $10. I'm also really impressed with the variety of kids' meals. I get disappointed when I just see sort of burgers, hot dogs, grilled cheese, but they uh, they have salmon, they have prime rib or cheeseburgers, all from sort of nine to twelve dollar range. So I felt that the menu had a really good variety that some everybody in your party will find something that they enjoy. So on to what we had. There is a complimentary bread service. So of course we had the bread. And then we ordered two prime ribs. So the prime rib was $33. This would be a medium rare uh, prime rib that you're seeing. And we also ordered just a Coke. Now the prime rib was done really well. It was uh, done to the proper doneness. It was a very nice cut of beef. I got the French fries. Linda got the vegetables, uh, and you know it was it was good. It was a very solid prime rib, and you can see based on the menu, this is sort of in theme with that sort of you know sort of golf course slash um, you know steak joint type of of 
of food service. It does feel that way. It's not the largest of restaurants. Uh, however, you know, the food was pretty good and uh, the variety is pretty well just in that sort of French onion stew, soup, uh, you know, New York strip type of, you know, seafood type of uh, menu. So as Aaron said, we did both have the prime rib. Not very many places actually offer prime rib in Disney. I think this is the first one that we've come across. And so we both had to try it. The portion size was pretty good. As Aaron said, it was cooked to the way that we wanted it. And I love myself some bread service. So we definitely enjoyed that as well. And, uh, you know, being able to get what you want, how you want it is, is, is good. So they were able to, to deliver on that. And we did enjoy what we had. In terms of value and price, they do accept Disney Dining Plan and Tables in Wonderland. We felt for a steak meal at Disney, the price was pretty good, what you would expect, $33 for a prime rib and $36 for a New York strip steak. The portions were great. I actually shared my portion and felt that I still was pretty full. We, did, we didn't have dessert afterwards. Now, I probably was snacking during the day, but the portions were pretty good. The service was great. It wasn't overly fast, but I think it was well paced for a nice dinner that you were looking to have. And we just enjoyed the views and the sunset. And as we did say before that there is a good variety that you can, everybody can find sort of what they're looking for and depending on the price range that you're hoping to stay within. So overall, I think we were a little divided on Turf Club. So I enjoy prime rib. It was a good prime rib, uh, you know, not the best that I've had and by far not the worst that I had. The French fries are really good. You know, it, you get what you kind of expect here. It's not, you know, it's not heavily themed. Again, you kind of feel like you're in a steakhouse. You kind of feel like you're, you know, sort of in a golf course um, having your meal after playing 18 holes. And it was good. It was a pretty solid, uh, solid meal, I would say. Yeah, it did feel a lot like a steakhouse. The food was good. I just feel that I have a lot of steakhouses and we have steak places we like to go to at home that when I go to Florida, I'm not going to go to something that I feel like I can get at home. And you were literally walking distance to Disney Springs. You can walk, you can take the bus, there's a boat, like you can see it right there. And there's so many great restaurants that we don't have at home or things even comparable to it. Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. I love that place. Morimoto's Asia. Like I haven't found a Chinese restaurant here that's like that or maybe more in the city area. But, you know, I just would way rather go over to Disney Springs, go to Wine Bar George, go over there than be going to a steakhouse that feels like I could be at a steakhouse at home. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. I think if you feel like prime rib, you don't want to leave from Sar Saratoga Springs, or you've just finished golf and you you know just want to go up and have a drink and maybe a prime rib or a steak, I think this is perfect for that. Uh, do I? I don't think though that it's necessarily a place that if you're wanting to go and get something. Um, that you would go to. I would suggest just going to Disney Springs, um, you know, and that would be much better in terms of options that you have uh, versus Turf Club. But if you are in the resort and you just feel like, you know, prime rib or you're out with a bunch of people and you just finished a game of golf, you know, go ahead and eat there and you'll have, you know, good drinks, good atmosphere, good views, decent food, and you'll enjoy it. Uh, so I think that's kind of how we would wrap this up is you know, if, if you feel like what they have here at Turf Club, you know, it's a great place to go. The food's well done. Service is good. But if you want anything else and you are looking for something more adventurous, then yeah, just walk over to Disney Springs or take a bus. Definitely see the appeal here. The resort is great. So if you're having a day at the resort and you're not looking at, at leaving and getting everybody all packed up, you will have a great dinner. It is only open for dinner, so they get busy. We saw a lot of people turned away. They were filled up and we were not in sort of your peak peak season. So do make sure you use that Disney app or get, get on an app and get your reservation booked so you're not turned away, especially if you are hoping to try them for a rest for a dinner. So what do you think of Turf Club? Is this someplace that you've eaten at? Have you stayed here at Saratoga and stayed there? Or did you just, you know, play some golf at Lake Buena Vista Golf Course and then go up and try Saratoga Spring, uh, try Turf Club? 
Let us know in the comments if this is a place that you've been to and what your thoughts are. We also want to thank you very much for going this far into the video. If you did enjoy this video, as we said, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you've seen a few of ours, then feel free to go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when our next video is up. We make a bunch of videos on both Disney World and on cruising. So if that's right up your alley, then we totally suggest that you subscribe. Thank you very much and happy travels.